shaky anyway i am on my way to the mall it is monday and it is 7 30 in the evening guys in the freaking evening like i'm about to you know get home and go to sleep because i have to work tomorrow today is um my first day back from vacation and uh, and I haven't been wanting to do anything but i was um in my eyes i was pretty productive i uploaded or imported all of my I imported all of my little clips into my external memory and uh, I uploaded a vlog today so tomorrow um, hopefully I'm gonna edit another vlog and then post it the next the following day because I don't want to bombard you with a bunch of vlogs and then you guys don't know what to look at so I'm um, doing that um, and also I have been putting stuff away and like unpacking kind of and I say kind of because I'm still not done and I still have to do a lot of washing um, I have to do a lot of laundry so that is just one of the things that I hate you know to do unpack I hate it and then I'm gonna have to repack three weeks from now because I'm gonna go to Mexico um, So that's going to be a bust. Like, I don't want to do it. Like, can I just leave it in there and, you know, just leave it like that? <laughs> or can the, um, can the unpacking fairies come and do it for me? That would be so, so much appreciated. But anyway, I feel like I need coffee because oh, this is sleepy. But maybe this should remain this way. That way I don't just not, you know. I don't go to bed at 12, that's it. I wanna go to bed sooner than that. But yeah guys, I am back and I guess I have to work. I don't want to, but yeah, that's, that's what I gotta do. Anyway, I'm gonna stop making you guys dizzy with all this shakiness. Bye. Hey guys, happy Wednesday and it is Wednesday night. It's already past my bedtime, um, but I went to the grocery store and I wanted to show you guys because I went to this new grocery store in uh, the city of Paramount and um, they opened this um, grocery store called the Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. So um, I wanted to see if the price, if you know, the prices matched what it claimed to be a grocery outlet. So. I got some strawberries. Let me put you guys down so I can show you guys. Okay. Oh, and also, I just came back from my workout. After not nine days not being there, um, I couldn't even do two burpees. I couldn't. And before I left, I was able to do five burpees before like, I had to take a break. So, I'm kind of sad. So, anyways. I have these giant strawberries which I paid $2.99 for. So I paid $2.99 for all of these strawberries, which were compared at like $5.99 or something. Um, so yeah. And these are like nowhere near to be expired, or at least I don't think they are. And they all looked really good. None of them look bad. So I have to go ahead and cut them right away and put them in the plate so they don't go bad. Let me get what's in my backpack first. Okay, so this next item is the most expensive one that I've that I've got today. And this was $5.99. So I got these um, harvest snap peas, the lightly salted kind. So yep, this bag was $5.99, which was I thought it was expensive, but it's a pretty bag a uh, pretty big bag, so because I needed snacks and then I also got bananas for uh, 49 cents a pound so 
I had 2.69 pounds, so I paid $1.32 for all of these bananas, guys. And yeah, they are a little bit still green because that's just how I like my bananas. I like them green, so I don't like this. I don't like none of this crap. This is nasty to me. It's way too sweet. So I might eat one of these right now because I'm kind of hungry. The last thing in my bag are these blueberries, which were $3.49. So this was kind of expensive too for it's a really small package. So $3.49 for that. I also got this organic organic cold brew coffee. Um, it's the brand Koana. And it has a hint of fresh vanilla. Fresh. Oh my god. It has a hint of French vanilla. So I really can't wait to try it. I am not going to try it tomorrow though because I am planning on making me a shake. So I don't think I'll be able to try this tomorrow. But I'll try it. And then the next thing is these. Nut, nut Thins by Blue Diamond. If you guys have not had these, you guys need to get them because they taste just like corn nuts, but like like in a little tortilla chip. And it tastes exactly like corn nuts. So I love this. Okay. Oh, did I see the price on that? Probably not. That one was $1.18. For a pack of six and then I got okay so if you guys don't know um, I watch our together here on YouTube and they're this amazing family so that you know anyway they drink a lot of kombucha so I thought that I would give kombucha a try um, this game is distracting. I'm watching Kevin play FIFA. Um, but yeah, this is the pomegranate flavor. And um, it is fermented water. Ugh. Four strains of <laughs> probiotics. Um, low calorie, gluten free, non-dairy and vegan. I know it's like, I don't know. It smells really bad because my brother has already brought it before. But, Kevin, did you like the kombucha? Wow. He says it's good, so let's try it. Ah, I can't open it. This, oh, this is the Kivita brand. I don't know if it's like a popular brand or what it is, but it was a whole bunch of flavors on this one, but they were mainly like lemon ginger, uh, Thai carrot, um, ginger, and something else that I'm not a fan of oh. it's good? sour but like no I know I'm sorry kombucha okay I can get used to the taste it's like sour I mean I like sour stuff like lemonade Sour lemonade, like lemon. I don't like ginger. Yeah, I can get used to it. Oh, and then the kombucha was, let's see, let's see, let's see. Kombucha, kombucha, kombucha. $2.79. Then I got these Special K Chewy snacks bar, Snack Bars in the flavor berry. So it has berries, nuts, and all that stuff, so. I've already had this, I think, and it's pretty good. Okay, then I also got... I got these uh, 100 calorie snacks from Slim Fast, and these are the s'mores. And it's just, it has protein and fiber, supposedly, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, it has little packets, and each packet is just 100 calories and it comes with how many of these five snack packs and I paid how much 2.99 mm. 
I don't know if I got a deal there, but. Um, I also got nothing exciting, but um, Complete Care Toothpaste, Arm & Hammer. That one was $3.29. And then lastly, I got these two little um, Green Magic Mama Chia Chia Squeezes. These are just snacks that you can just, um, you know, kind of drink. But it has, let me tell you. Okay, so it says right here. Ingredients, chia seeds, organic banana puree, mango puree, apple juice, lemon juice, chlorella? What is that? Okay, organic kale. So yeah, it's pretty much like a green juice in a little pouch. And it has chia seeds in it. So each one of the uh, each one of these packets were a dollar. So I think it was pretty good. And I only spent $31, which I know if I would have gone to Target and I would have gotten something similar to this, I would have easily spent $70 just on snacks because I've done it before. And it's not cool, Target, that you are taking all of my money. But yeah, guys, I, okay, I'm trying to put this shit back. Alrighty, guys, so I will get back to um, doing what I was going to do, like take a shower and stuff. And also, I am going to post the next vlog, which is continues in Seattle. So I really hope you guys are enjoying those vlogs or you've enjoyed them, watched them all, and... Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. What's happening, guys? Might take my breath control out today. We'll see. Hi guys. Look at Summer. She's taking on of the pillow. Mamash. Can mommy rest her head here? So you guys didn't see much of my day today. Um, I wanted to vlog the whole day actually, but it didn't happen. Um, after the doctor, which they did take it out, my birth control, so I'm trying something else because it just didn't work out. All right. Okay. And then we went to Citadel Outlets because I was hoping that they did something on the coach store, did something about my bag because it's only been like seven months that I've had that bag and, um, well, it's really fucked up. Like, the straps ripped from the sides. Like, the stitching. Well, actually, the stitching is still there. I don't know. The guy said it's because my hat, my back is too heavy. But they couldn't do anything about it because I'm already on the seventh month. And supposedly, they only cover up to six months. And they don't cover it um, if the uh, fibers are showing, which mine are showing. But... When I bought it, there were some little fibers sticking out. And I've never had a coach purse, so I just, I didn't really think much of it. And so I'm kind of fucked. So now I just have to use that. I'm having a lot of, I'm having a lot of abdominal pain right now. I am um, on my period and usually I get super crampy because I do have cysts in my uterus, whatever. Um, so it hurts and so um, part of this um, birth control that I had here it helped and regulate that and um, now I don't have it so I'm feeling the pain again and um, I need to put my few days on because this is not comfortable and it's about gonna be 12 I think and I have to go to work tomorrow so I'm kind of crazy for not being asleep already but um I'm having a lot of pain mm. but this dude right here the thing that they got out from here 
was really stuck in 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 my skin like my tissue because it created scar tissue from the healing last time they opened me up to put it in and so it was really stuck so she had she told me she had to like kind of shave the little scar tissue around it and then she finally pulled it out and i wanted to get it for you guys on film but we got really into the conversation and i had already told her yeah i want to remove it so she was like doing it while we were talking about other methods so um yeah and i just thought it would be a little weird i don't know how you guys feel about blood and stuff hopefully on oh, this shadow um hopefully like by the second month it's better because i had to take it out because it kept spotting and that's not fun so yeah i'm gonna try and go to sleep now guys because i'm very sleepy and i have to work tomorrow maybe friday oh uh, my boss said she might give it to me off because i just did eight days straight so we'll see <sighs> I'm a lot of pain, guys. Oh, and my feelings were all over the place today, and they kind of still are. Um, I just don't know. I want to cry right now. For no reason. I hate being a girl. Bye. <laughs>
The pickles got too salty already for me. Yeah. I have a lot. I was going to ask them, there were some little kids sitting here and I was going to ask them if they wanted pickles. Wake up, Kevin. Stop being lazy. Hurry up, it's one o'clock. Get up. Wake up. Oh. Wake up, awake. What the fuck? What? I'm awake. Get up. Change. Get ready. I'm gonna leave without you. It's Bye. What? And you just woke up. <laughs> I just got out of the ah, shower. Shut up. I just got out of the shower. I did, guys. Look. <sighs> Happy August 1st. It is officially August. And um, I really don't know how summer came by so fast. I mean, in California, you have summer like every day. So. Um, it's not, you know, that big of a deal, but it is, it will be time for, um, Kevin to go back to school and this time he's going to be going into college. So he, um, Kevin, hurry. Why? Um, so since he's 18 now, he, um, he's got to work <laughs> and I'm eating some hot Cheetos. I haven't had breakfast, but I'm waking and I'm hurrying Kevin up because I want to go have wings. I fell asleep watching Melissa's eating uh, uh, video and she was eating lemon pepper and buffalo wings with Ariel and they were having it a little different. They were having rice with it, um, but still like coming back from the gym yesterday or last night, I fell asleep hungry like I always do. I ate a fruit. That was it and it just wasn't cutting it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to sleep before I actually eat something that is going to make the workout not worth it, aka hot Cheetos cuz I have these <laughs> I have these since um yesterday. I like to save them now. To have a little bit of time and savor my hot Cheetos. But yeah, I have a couple of updates for you. Um, I think the last thing you guys saw was uh, going to the doctor, the whole birth control thing. They took it out, and now it's just this little teeny tiny little hole there. Um, it's extremely tiny, but um, it bled a lot. And even when I took the bandage off, the band-aid and the tape underneath it had a bunch of blood. And honestly, that day was just like, I was just a mess, like, emotionally. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, what happened. I was, I, like, from one minute, from the time that I got home from the store to, like, just being here at home, um, I was just, like, a total mess. And I felt like as of um, my um, blood sugar or my pressure just went down, like, suddenly and I was shaky but I wasn't hungry but I was like I don't know it was just so weird and I guess like two years worth of the hormones and that thing like really messed me up and I was just not having them I was not feeling well so I didn't feel like picking up the camera I mean I did but then after that that was it. Like, I just didn't feel like it. So I went turn 18 on Sunday. And then also, I don't know why I'm so nervous telling you this, but... Uh, I am... I have butterflies. I wish Danny was here, too. To announce this with me, but... We are getting married! <laughs> yep, that happened on Sunday, which, um, again, like I said, it was Kevin's birthday, so I really, uh, we were just planning on going to dinner with Kevin, um, what was it, like, we had nothing else planned, but he, oh, no, yeah, yeah, we ha we're supposed to go to Disneyland, which, there's nothing, like, 
strange because we actually haven't gone to Disneyland in, in a long time. We needed to go ride Guardians of the Galaxy because we still haven't gone on that. And just go to Disneyland in general. What he was planning was to go propose over there. But it's funny how even when you want to do something like so positive like that, things just sometimes don't even work out. We we're supposed to go to dinner at like three or four. No, we we're supposed to go. We we're planning on going at three because I was out at 2.30. And then we get back, go to Disneyland. That's it. But like I said, it didn't work out that way. So it happened here at home. He asked me here and I wouldn't, ha honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. It was the best thing ever. Yay. And Shut up! Kevin's only happy because he says that he's get, finally getting a room, which he's getting half of a room because I share with Miguel. We are planning on saving up and um, then hopefully by our 10 year anniversary, which is in November, we'll be celebrating it in an apartment, like our own apartment. I'm so happy. Um, we are, of course, Telling family and friends first, like close friends, about you know the engagement, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on social media uh, later on because I really still wanted to go to Disneyland to get cute pictures and get um, the engaged button because we have um, the button that we got when we just like first went to Disneyland so it was a uh, first visit because I, I hadn't honestly that was like the first visit I ever did as a grown-up the last time I went to Disneyland I remember I think I was like nine or ten and then Danny and I didn't get a pass till like we were like I don't know 22 or something I can't remember maybe even older no older because oh no but we we went there to celebrate our two-year anniversary so 17 18, 19. So we were about 19 or 20 when we went. So it was like basically 10 years later. And so we got our uh, first visit pin. And then after that, every time we would go for our anniversary, we would get our anniversary pins. And now we could get a different pin. And I'm extremely excited. And I, since my pass has that photo pass thing, um, and I know they're going to get rid of it because they already sent me a letter, which pisses me off. Because with the pass that I have, I'm already like, paying so much and then for them to take out like one of the features so basically i'm gonna be paying like a lot extra just because i have parking so i don't even know if i'm gonna re no i'm gonna have to renew it because then we won't have parking so it won't make sense so i still want to go there maybe get a couple pictures so i can download them to my phone and then put them on social media so hopefully by the time that you're watching this, I already posted it on social media, but I'm not too sure. But if you get other pictures, and I'll just show you them to you guys. Show you them. I'll just show them to you guys. Yeah, I'm so excited. I think I'm still in shock. Cause even like when he was speaking to my parents, um, my eyes would get watery, but I wouldn't cry. And I was expecting myself to like ugly cry, like full on Kim ugly cry. And it didn't happen. So in a way, I'm happy that he didn't see me ugly cry because probably he'd have been like, never mind. Here's the um, 18 year old Kevin, changed man. <laughs> yeah. Who's got a job now because he does have a job. You want to tell him where you have a job? Nope. Why? You're not gonna have girls following you around. Relax. All right, never mind. Uh, <laughs> and chaps and Cerritos. Mm-hmm. So that means I'm gonna have a lot more shoes. <laughs> Let's get going to Wingstop because I'm hungry. Bye. <laughs>